What's happening travel dudes? It's Scott and Yannicka and we're in the Hanu area of Belgium exploring the gastronomy from the food to the chocolate and of course the beer starting right here at the drink factory. Stopped for lunch in Moons at the square at a restaurant and we have a variety of Belgian dishes, some from the area and some from Moons itself. Here we have escavesh, which is eel, uh, eel and vinegar and some salad on the side. This is chicken gratin, which is uh, in the endives and ham uh, wrapped in a rich sauce and cooked in the oven. But the one I have in front of me now is from Moons itself, it's pork. How do I pronounce the name? A la bête douille. A la bête douille. A la bête douille. Oui. <laughs> um, which is local to this area, and Yannick has a couple of other dishes to my Yeah, we have a boulet de liege, and then we have a caponade salmon, and both the sauces are made with uh, beer. As a, and then there's some onions, there's some grapes, and there's some sugar, so there's like a different one. And of course, we have the local beer. Yes. Cheers. 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 our tour at the Brasserie de Legende, a fantastic brewery in art. And we've just learned all about what a true craft brewery is, from the ground to the bottle, including the barley malts and how this is processed. Honestly, come in and check out the beer. Sante. Sante. No trip to Hanaud is complete without a big portion of mussels and of course the local beer to go with it. Cheers! Cheers. come to Charleroi, which is a former industrial town which is being reinvented and rejuvenated and has like a new lease of life and this place is called Lamu which brews its own beer, roasts its own coffee and even bakes its own bread. Now you can actually choose your beer and brew your own beer here and we've got a special one for you, it's called Travel Dudes.
like to try to travel you. <laughs> So fries is one of the things that you really need to try when you're in Belgium. And remember to get it served with mayonnaise. One of the products that is really special here in Belgium is also the cheese. And at this farm, they make the cheese with ash inside. No trip to Belgium would be complete without tasting some of Belgium's finest chocolate and we're at Le Gast, Le Gast Artisan Chocolatier. Um, now they're actually the winners of two international chocolate awards and Yannicka is having a go at making some herself. It's based here in Bran Le Conte which is also actually where Eden Hazard is from. And if you don't mind, I'm just going to try one now. We've come to Domaine de Chandiel, which is a place that serves sparkling wine, which is actually something that uses the champagne method, but you don't call it champagne. It's a nice little break from drinking all the beer in Belgium, and you know what? Pretty delicious. <laughs> When we came to Hanout and Belgium in general, we were expecting the incredible chocolate, the cheese, and of course the breweries and the beer, my God. But what I wasn't expecting was how good the food would be. We've also made two more videos from this trip, one on culture and one on activities, so go check them out.